the White House. Joining me, though, now live from Chicago this morning is Illinois Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky, also a vice chair for the Obama-Biden campaign. Congresswoman, it's great to have you here. And business pioneer Jack Welsh, former GE CEO, a Romney supporter, basically calls these numbers into question. Had this remark that he tweeted out earlier today saying, unbelievable jobs numbers. These Chicago guys will do anything, can't debate, so change numbers. What do you say to that? I mean, even the White House, though, right now, this morning, reluctant to spike the football in this, in their statement saying it is critical that we continue the policies that are building an economy that works for the middle class as we dig our way to a deep hole. What is your response to those questioning the validity of these well, numbers? Well, that's, well that's, really, that's really interesting because I happened to see one of those Chicago guys last night. I was with David Axelrod. I asked him, what do you expect about the, uh, the jobs numbers? He says, I, I really don't know. We're hoping that it'll, that it'll be good. So, you know, it doesn't surprise me that Romney supporters are now going to take this very good news for the economy and for Americans and say somehow the books were, uh, were, were cooked. Um, they just cannot stand and they haven't been able to uh, tolerate any good news about the, uh, about the economy that somehow it's got to, they, they've got to put a, a spin on it. So I, this, is, this is excellent news. And I want to tell you, I will trade uh, a not so um, great performance in a, in a debate for great job numbers in terms of uh, what, how this affects the American economy and the American people. Congresswoman, the Romney campaign, though, has issued their own statement saying this isn't a real recovery, saying if not for all the people who have simply dropped out of the labor force, the real unemployment rate would be closer to 11 percent. The results of President Obama's failed policies are staggering. 23 million Americans struggling for work, nearly one in six living in poverty. And as we do look at this, there are still 12.1 million Americans, Congresswoman, out of work. Many of those jobs added, though, were part-time, and the number of people with part-time jobs seeking full-time employment did rise last month. But what would you say to those who say that, I'm still out of work, I'm still struggling in this economy right now, and this just isn't enough? And that's, of course, why the Obama uh, administration is not spiking the ball tonight. But we are finally beginning to clean up the mess that was created uh, under the Bush administration and the blind eye that was turned to, to Wall Street. And, uh, and, of course, Romney is trying to change his story, too. In the debate, he said, oh, I'm not against regulating Wall Street. Really? They're, they're, they're for repealing the, the Dodd-Frank bill, creating the stage that would actually take us back to where we were at the hemorrhaging of, of jobs, we're finally beginning to, to turn the corner. When we look at what we saw on Wednesday night, the president certainly under fire for this less than dynamic performance, some questioning whether he entered this debate underprepared and overconfident. Uh, as we did point out at the top of the show, your vice chair of the Obama campaign, did the president underprepare, underestimate his opponent, and did it take the wind out of your sails for the work that you're doing for the president to get reelected? Well, I'll tell you what, it's really hard to argue against somebody who shows up with totally new proposals um, that says, oh, he loves teachers, and last week he said uh, Obama wants to hire more teachers, and I'm not for that. That suddenly he's, uh, for, uh, n he's not for cutting taxes on the top uh, uh, earners in this country, on the, on the wealthy. And, of course, his whole proposal, he's denying that he has a proposal that would cut taxes taxes by five trillion dollars. There's a name to that proposal. He printed it out. The analysis that was done was based on a Romney proposal that now he says he doesn't know what, 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 he's ta what uh, Obama's talking about. It's utterly amazing, hard to debate somebody who has totally different plans than he really has said in the past. Does this mean the president has fulfilled his promise to get unemployment below eight percent and this isn't a one-term proposition? You know, you can't deny the numbers. 7.8% is, in fact, lower than 8%. And that's kind of the uh, benchmark that the Republicans have, have laid out. I'm sure they are extremely disappointed that there are better job numbers in the United States of America because they have been trying to sabotage any efforts. Every day I see it in the Congress. They've been trying to sabotage any efforts that would act make the, the economy better. And now they're just going to have to, uh, to live with that number. They'll spin it any way they want, but there it is. I think Bill Clinton would call this number lower, just simple arithmetic. Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky, thank you for joining thank me this you. morning. I appreciate it. And happy the... birthday.